As we move on to problem three, um, you'll find another way to solve for logarithms or for exponents. Um, you can read through this. It's how to use your graphing calculator. Uh, I personally think it's very complicated, and I also think it takes a lot longer than um, just the normal way. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip over this. If you want to learn how to use your calculator and the graphing, go ahead and do that. Um, but we're just going to move on to the got it number three. What is the solution to each exponential equation? Check your answer. All right, let's do A and B. Now we're going to do these the way that we're used to. You should notice there is no common base. Okay. And I'm going to do one and then the other as we move along. And over here, you should realize there's no common base. All right, so we've identified that we're going to handle both of these the exact same way. Now what I'm going to do, if there is no common base, I'm going to put these in logarithmic form. So this one is a log with a base of 7, of 800, and that's going to equal 4x. Therefore, this one's going to be a log of 800 over 7, over log of 7, excuse me, equals 4x. Now let's go over here and compare how this one's going to be very similar to it. This one will be a log with a base of 5.2 of 400, and that's going to equal 3x. And over here, when I use my change of base, I get log of 400 over log of 5.2, and that equals 3x. I'm going to get my calculator for both of them. I'll do this one first. All right, we are going to do log of 800, and we will divide by log of 7, and I get um, 3.4352, yada, yada, yada. You can write that down if you want. Um, if, you're, if you guys like to show all your work and you want to be able to reference back what you've done, write all of your decimals down, only round at the very end, okay? So all of this becomes that ugly number. Now divide by 4. Okay, when I take my calculator, all I have to do now is hit divide by 4 because I never cleared it. And I get my answer of 0.8. Five, eight, eight. I'm going to round to four decimal spots, and that's one, two, three, four. The eight stays in eight. That equals x. Now it did ask us to check our answer, so I'm going to go way back up. I'm going to do seven to the parentheses four times my answer, and I get approximately 800. So I know I've done this correctly. Moving on to the other one. All right, I'm going to put this in my calculator. We'll do log of 400, divide by log of 5.2. I get a really, really long number. If you guys like to write it down, you can, although I'm not going to make you. 3, 6, 3, 4, 1, 4, 5, 0, 2, 8. That equals 3x. 6, 3, 4, 1, 4, 5. Okay. And then you're going to divide each side by 3. Okay, so I don't have to clear. All I do is divide by 3 because I didn't clear anything and I get 1.2114 because I like to round to four decimal spots. That equals x. Let's go ahead and check it. <clears throat> if we do 5 to the, I go back to the beginning way up here, 5 to the, or excuse me, 5.2 to the, 3 times 1.2114. Look how I get the answer of almost 400. Again, remember it's not exactly 400 because we had to round. That's also why I like to save my rounding until the end. It's the most accurate that way. Problem 4 is modeling with an exponential equation. Resource management. Wood is a sustainable, renewable, natural resource when you manage forests properly. You, your lumber company has 1,200,000 trees. You plan to harvest 7% of those trees every single year. How many years will it take to harvest? Now we have, let's just make a note here. We have done problems like this. I'm gonna write, we have done this before. We have done this before, but we had to use guess and check. But now guys, we don't have to use guess and check anymore. 
And if you're wondering what notes that was from when we had to start using guess and check, I do believe that was in section 7.2. Okay, if you wanna look back and see when we did our guess and check, we did guess and check in 7.2, but now we actually can figure out a real amount, a real answer, no more guess and check. Let's make our equation the way we used to, okay? We already know how, well, yeah, we know the number of trees and we know the rate of decay. We already know how to make our equation. Remember y equals a dot b to the x power? Nothing's changed, we still use the same equation. All right, so we do y equals, now the beginning amount is 1,200,000 trees. Now remember how to find b. Since this is growing, I'm gonna write an arrow, okay? Since this is growing, we do one plus, or excuse me, since you are harvesting. Harvesting means you're gonna take away, sorry. You do one minus 0 0.07, okay? Because you're taking away a certain amount of trees. So A becomes 0.93, all right, and that's, that follows there. See my, my flow chart there? One, one minus 0.07 equals 0.93 to the x power. So I have my equation. Now let's plug in what we need. It says, how many years will it take to harvest half of the trees? Well, we have to think, what is half of 1,200,000? Half of that is 600,000. This is what they want to harvest. This is what they want to harvest, okay? See how it says half? How many years will it take to get half? Okay, I can highlight that if you're concerned about where I got the word half from. Okay. So I'm going to make my equation. Ready? I'm going to do 600,000 equals 1,200,000. Be careful with your zeros. Make sure you get enough. Um, times 0.93 to the x power. What I'm going to do first is can you see this thing right here? I'm going to isolate this. So I'm going to divide this side by 1,200,000 and this side by 1,200,000. Okay? So when I move over up here, well, 600,000 divided by 1,200,000 is just 0.5. So I get 0.5 equals. 0.93 to the x power. All right? Now you see, we have no idea, okay? Here there is no common base. So I put it into logarithmic. Now guys, we just follow, we follow exactly what we did over here. So I'll do log with a base of 0.93 um, of 0.5 equals x. Remember how we talked about logarithms? We use logarithms when you want to solve for a variable in an exponent. If you can't remember that, please write that down right here. We use logarithms when we want to solve for a variable in an exponent. All right, so I'm going to say, well, I can't do this, so I'm going to change my base, log of 0.5 over log of 0.93, and that's going to equal x. Nothing real fancy, just get your calculator. Log of 0.5, divide by log of 0.93, and it's gonna take approximately 9.6 years for this to happen. So I'll write x is approximately 9.6 years. So you can see how everything we've been doing really starts coming together here. How many years will it take you to harvest half of the trees if you do 5%? So we're still talking about half of the trees, but now we're doing 5%. So this time my equation is y equals the same initial amount, but now right here we do 1 minus 0.05 instead of 1 minus 0.07. 
Now let's go ahead and just make a nice equation here. That's 1,200,000 times 0.95 to the x power. They want us to harvest half. Okay, so that's 600,000. One equals 1,200,000. Point 0.95 to the x. Divide each sign by 1,200,000. That one goes away. I get 0 0.5 equals 0.95 to the x power. Look how similar these are. Look how similar. Now I want to take a moment. I really want to think, okay? Do you guys see how this has 0.5 or 5% here? This should take longer because we're not harvesting as much. Maybe we should write that down. This should take longer because we are not harvesting as much. Okay. This should take longer because we are not harvesting as much. Okay, let's put this into log form. Ready? That's log with the base of 0.95 of 0.5 equals x. Moving over for some extra room, I gotta change the base. Okay, so I'm gonna do log of 0.5 over log of 0.95, that will equal x. Now I can put into a basic calculator here. You can put it even onto a regular calculator, like when you go to your start menu in your um, computer. And I get my answer of about 13 and a half years. So it did take longer, didn't it? So we'll say approximately 13 and a half years to harvest that much. So it's kind of neat to be able to see. And you guys remember when I talked to you about my dad and how he had thyroid cancer. This is the type of equation they had to use in order to figure out. They decided how much they gave him, they decided what a safe amount was, and then they had to solve with a logarithm how long my dad had to be in isolation. Um, moving on, we're almost done. A logarithm, a logarithmic equation, so we'll abbreviate, a logarithmic equation is an equation that includes one or more logarithms in, involving a variable. In the following, you should be able to do method one and double check with the other methods. All right, what is the solution when something looks like this? Guys, we have done something like this. This is really, really review, okay? You've done a nice job. I've pushed you probably further than you think I did um, to get you to the spot where this should be comfortable. You should remember there's a hidden base of 10 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 10 squared equals 4x minus 3. Remember how, okay, so I just changed into exponential form. I like to change forms when I don't know what's, I don't, when I don't know what form or what to do with the form it's in, I change it into the other form. All right, well 10 squared is 100 and that equals 4x plus minus 3. Now look guys, you're back to algebra 1. Okay, moving over for a little extra room. That's 103 equals 4x. That's 103 fourths equals x. And that's it. Now if we wanted a prox if we wanted a decimal, I guess you could say that's 25.75. Now do you want to check and see if we did it right? Just grab your calculators, okay? Let's check. We can do log, since that's a common base, I'm allowed to do it on my calculator of 4 times 25.75 minus 3. I'm going to close my parentheses. You ready? Hit enter. Look at the answer I get. I get a 2. You can review these other two methods. I am not a fan of these methods whatsoever. So I'm just going to go down. Take a look at the next one. Do you see what the base is down here? The base is 10. So I'll do 10 to the negative 1 equals 3 minus 2x. Well, 10 to the negative 1 is 0.1 
equals 3 minus 2x. Take away 3. Okay, take away 3 and you do 0.1 minus 3 and you get negative 2.9 equals negative 2x. Divide by negative 2 and you get a positive 1.45. That's x. If you want to check it, grab your calculator, log parenthesis 3 minus 2 times what I got as an answer. Look how I get negative 1 as an answer, so I know I did it right. <clears throat> the only other item that I really think for us that would be beneficial is if we could talk about numbers 3 and 4. On number 3, what I'd like you to look at is that it says the word solve. I'm going to do number 3. We have log of 4x equals 2. How can you solve for x? Well, think to yourself, I don't really like the logarithm form, so I'm going to try to put it in exponential form to see if it makes sense. So I'll do a common base of 10 squared equals 4x. Now look how much easier my equation is to solve. See how you get 100 equals 4x, x equals 25? So if you're not sure what form to use, try switching it up and making it easier on yourself. Let's do number four the same way. Now, can you guys see how they are two separate logarithms? You need to combine these into one. You need to combine them into one log. Well, it's good because you've already learned how to do this, everybody. You ready? What does subtraction mean? Subtraction implies division. So this is really log of x over 2 equals 3. Okay, because subtraction implies division. Let's get it out of log form. Let's put it into exponential form. So the base of 10 to the third power is x over 2. That's really 1,000 equals x over 2. When you multiply, you get 2,000 equal to x. Okay, so what I'm trying to emphasize here on these two problems is if you can't figure it out, go to the different form. Try the opposite form and solve that way. I will see you tomorrow. Get your questions together because I know this is kind of a goofy topic.